Acme Industries, a management story. Presented by Team Pom Poms. For the purposes of this class, our team is essentially a TV production company. Each member of the team is in rotation either a manager or employee of this company. The product that our company produces is a TV show demonstrating management principles grounded in an entertaining and realistic circumstance. We deliver our products to customers throughout YouTube and viewers will learn about key management concepts by watching the episodes, including decision making, planning, organizing, team management, and others. Our team did things a little different. We decided to give everyone a chance to be the team leader. Throughout the weeks, we rotated through the position, which gave everyone a chance to be the manager. Team leader would read through the assignment requirements and distribute the workload evenly across the team. The other members were responsible for meeting deadlines and completing all assigned work. We learned how to manage a team, but also work as a team player. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the cast. Skip is the newest manager at Acme. He managed a restaurant for over 15 years prior to getting hired here. He doesn't tolerate horseplay and he puts the mission first. He has a huge reputation in the management world, but he also has a big ego to go along with it. Next we have Gary. He is the Acme founder and CEO. After discovering the company had issues on the line, he hired Skip to come in and diagnose them and fix it as quick as possible. He's a bottom line, show me the results kind of guy, and he is expecting a lot out of Skip. Moving on, we have Jim, a mid-level manager who has been with Acme for years. He cares more about keeping his friends than he does fixing the issues because he hates confrontation. Friends and family say he's a pushover, but he's excited to have a new manager like Skip to run the team. Next, we have Laura. She has been with the company for over 10 years. She has seen managers come and go, so she doesn't take them seriously. Even though she is very good at what she does, she is often found making fun of people and downplaying the importance of the job. This is Rachel. She has also been with Acme for almost 10 years. She's said to be Laura's sidekick. She makes jokes and is kind of considered the class clown. She's not much of a business person and just views Acme as a job that pays the bills. Today is the big day. My first day on the job. I'm going to be the best manager Acme has ever seen. I will make a great first impression and make sure everyone knows I'm in charge. Welcome aboard, Skip. We're so happy to have you here at Acme. We have a long, proud history of creating devices for catching roadrunners. We're the original leader in that market, and we intend to stay that way. Thanks, Gary. I really appreciate your confidence in bringing me on. I'm not going to disappoint you. I have every faith in that. So tomorrow you'll get to the factory, but today I wanted to get to know you a bit more, learn about your style, and tell you about Acme and what's ahead of you. So what's your approach going to be with the group? A factory has to have a strong manager, someone who sets the pace and enforces the rules. I will make sure the employees know there will be success, but things will have to change. That sounds pretty good but you will have some challenges. A couple of the women on the team have been here a long time and are pretty set in their ways. You'll meet Laura and Rachel and see what I mean. I believe in rewarding employees when they do good, but anyone who can't get with the program soon is going to get the necessary discipline. My direction will smooth things out. We do need some changes around here. The teams do a good job meeting quota in terms of numbers, but there are some serious quality issues with the products. Last week we sent out 50 bundles of dynamite that would only explode when someone went back to check on them. And before that, we had a catapult malfunction that affected 75 units. They sent our coyote customers flying over the desert instead of launching boulders on roadrunners like they were designed to. Those are exactly the kind of problems I want to address, Gary. 
good, and we want to see it quickly. We've got some competitors in the wacky device market, and they're going to catch up with us fast if we don't start making more reliable products. I've put out a major strategic objective for the factory to turn things around and regain our competitive edge. One of our managers, Jim, is a nice guy, but he lets the group get away with too much, and they've stopped paying attention to their work. I want to see an improvement from your team within the next four months. Your success will depend on what you can get them to do. Can you handle that? Absolutely. I'll meet the team tomorrow and let them know what's coming. Then by next week, I'll have so many changes in place, they won't even remember their old bosses. I'm going to enforce the rules more strongly, make sure that they're not talking, listening to the radio, or anything else that could be a distraction. I'm also going to take a close look at the task distribution and see if what they're working on makes sense. We're going to make all the changes at once, a blank slate. I think that's better so they can get used to all the adjustments at once instead of dragging it out. That will also help me meet the four-month goal you've given me. Skip, I feel sure that you're the right person for this job and can take care of what's needed. I'll be watching your results closely. I want you to report to me every week on how your changes are affecting production quality and morale. I'm ready for the challenge. In episode two, Skip gets ready for his first day at Acme. He runs through different management concepts he will introduce to his team. When he arrives at work, he is greeted by Gary, who goes over the different issues he is seeing within the company. He gives Skip a four-month goal of fixing the problems and expects him to check in weekly. Jim is excited for the challenge. Some of the concepts that occur within this episode would be communication. The communication is key in any business. Well, this communication occurs within the CEO and the newest manager, and he talks about the issues and problems he is seeing. The next concept would be strategic management. This is where Gary gives Skip his vision and goals of the company, and now Skip must come up with a way to make it happen, which leads us over to change management. Skip, Skip must redirect the team by giving them goals and milestones to work towards, and ultimately achieve the goal of the CEO. Did you hear they finally found a replacement manager? We've been fine without one for weeks, and things have been going smoothly. This person better not mess things up. You're right. This person better not come in and boss us around like we don't know what we're doing. I don't need that, especially as close as I am to retirement. I'm friends with one of the upper managers. He says the new manager will be used to help the factory bring in new production strategies. This could bring about a lot of changes. You and I both know drastic measures will have to be taken to get anything to change around here. New procedures may last a little while, but they've always gone back to the way they were. Our past manager was great, because more than anything else, he wanted to be our friend. As easy as that was for us, I have to admit, the company's doing badly because of it. We've been running this line by ourselves for weeks, and the production numbers are exactly the same as when our old supervisor was here. You know what I think, Laura? I think they need to listen to us more and seek feedback from us. We know what's going on with the line, do they? We're here every day, we work hard, and we have a good time while we do it. We don't need anyone standing over us, so he better not try. In episode 3, Laura and Rachel discuss their thoughts on getting a new manager. They believe things are fine the way they are, and will not tolerate someone coming in making changes. Some of the concepts covered would be organizational culture. If there are people within a business that are negative, it could cause a bad organizational culture and ultimately bring down morale. It is clear that Laura and Rachel are stuck in their ways and will have to be worked with. Also, change management. Once again, we see change management. Skip will have a tough time getting people like Laura and Rachel to follow his lead, so we will have to find different ways that are effective in enforcing his changes.
Now we will talk about some of the general conclusions on management. Management is the process of assembling and using sets of resources in a goal-directed manner to accomplish tasks in an organizational setting. Several resources are brought together in the management process, according to Black, Hitt, and Porter. These resources include human, financial, material, and informational resources. Having the resources work together takes a special type of person and special sets of skills. There is not just one way to manage a team. There are many roads one can take as a manager, and it is important to identify which approach best fits the circumstances, as explored in our Finger Puppet TV show through the character of Skip. Interpersonal skills in management are also so important because if you don't know your team, you will never be able to manage them effectively. It is important to earn the trust of your team and then find out which management techniques may work best. Nobody is perfect, but if your team likes and respects you, it won't matter. You will always find people like Laura and Rachel from our show in the real workforce who will challenge your authority and do just enough to get by. Being a good manager requires someone to possess great communication and problem-solving skills while also being good at developing a plan for everyone involved to follow. Management is a complex role which requires the ability to envision different scenarios and predict the needs, advantages, challenges, and resources needed for each. Managers must employ sophisticated interpersonal skills to execute the plans because they are primarily achieving results through others. They must also constantly monitor the work that is produced and measure the results against what was expected, making course corrections and adjustments as necessary. Managers must be able to look upwards and downwards in an organization as well as externally and factor many moving parts into their decision and actions. Reflections Looking back, our team came up with many things that we could have done better, but I think a few things we would all agree on is planning, organization, and knowing what's expected of us. Each week, the team leader needs to look over the assignments and be very clear of what's expected of everybody and make sure their team knows what's expected of them. Working in a group can be tough. Not everybody has the same schedule as you, so you may have questions but others aren't around. It's very important that you bring this stuff up early so by the end of the week you have it all figured out and ready to go. Overall, it was a great experience. We learned time management, planning, and organizational skills. We learned how to run a team and also how to work as a team player. Looking forward, we have some recommendations for future students. You will be working in a group, so you must be a good team player. Get to know your team's strengths and weaknesses and work with them to get the work done as efficiently as possible. With all of the platforms you will be using in this class, you will run into issues. So plan accordingly and give yourself enough time to correct the issues and turn in all of your work. When taking this class, remember that not everybody has the same schedule. Some people may work more than others, and some people may only be able to work on the weekends. So work with your teammates and build a plan to make sure that you can all get your part of the work done. Set clear expectations in the team charter in the beginning of the course. This will give you something to fall back on if your team is falling behind or not working as efficiently as possible. 